Hi guys, it's Julia here from Jam Squared Vintage. I am back today with an epic Goodwill outlet haul, also known as the bins. Uh, guys, this was like one of those weeks that really took me by surprise. There were so many like interesting things that I found. Not a ton of like bread and butter stuff, but a lot of like kind of special pieces that I think were really nice and I think they'll move quickly. But including one piece that like in all of my years of thrifting and I have you know, I'm going back to age 15. I've been thrifting uh, for items to sell on eBay. I've never found anything like it. I'm super excited to share it with you. But before we get started, if you haven't yet, don't forget to hit subscribe down below. Um, if you are into thrifting, flipping, checking out different treasures that people find on their hunt, um, you know, I'd love to have you along on this journey. Don't forget to share the treasures that you find on your hunt. I am such a nerd about these things. So if you find something weird or wonderful, like put it in the comments down below. I love it. But without further ado, let's get into the goods. Let me show you what I found. This was just, this week was a wild ride. <laughs> so we are going to get started here with shoes. I almost never look at the shoes and, and mostly because the frenzy around the shoe bin is crazy. I, I don't know why, for whatever reason, I was able to like, you know, reach in this time and found two like incredible pairs. So first thing I found, I'm literally like pulling these out of the bag, are these adorable rag and bone little like wingtip platforms. Can you see that? So they're like laceless. They have elastic here. They have, I almost want to call this a creeper, but I feel like I can't get that focus there. I feel like the creeper soles are a little bit um, bigger, but I just think these are super cute. I mean, I have to do a real good condition look, but the leather is really nice. You know, maybe 50 or 60 bucks. I can't believe that these didn't get sold at Goodwill. This is crazy. And rag and bone, I, these are probably $400 shoes when they were new. The other pair of shoes I pulled, and talk about a brand I n never thought I'd see at the bins of all place, is this pair of Loafler Randall pumps. Loafler Randall is like ultra high end, but look at these pumps. Aren't they, they're a size nine. They're in pretty good shape. I'll clean them up a little bit, but aren't they funky? Again, leather, super high quality. They don't look like they have a ton of wear. They've definitely been worn a few times, but with a little, a little love and a little gentle cleaning, uh, these are great. I, again, these are probably $400 shoes, I, maybe 50 bucks on these. Um, guys. And literally, I only reached in and picked up two pairs, and these were the two pairs that I got. So now on to the clothes. We'll start here with a little bit of a bread and butter piece. It's just these little like Nike, uh, Nike Air leggings. They're size small. They were pretty much their basic um, kind of waist compression uh, leggings. You know, probably 15, 20 bucks on these. Nike always sells really quick for me. It doesn't always sell for a ton of money. Um, obviously there are more limited editions and more collabs out there. That's a different piece, but you know, the basic Nike stuff moves pretty quickly, not for a lot, but I'm also interested in moving inventory. That's what pays the bills. So next up here, and this is where we start the kind of cool and interesting pieces. I got this great pair of vintage seven for all mankind jeans. And when I picked them up, I noticed this like a little bit of embellishment. Um, and you have a little bit on the back pocket as well. You know, all the wear on these looks intentional. And so I, I saw this little tag on the inside and it's this collab that they did with the Great China Wall. And the Great China Wall, I guess, did the embellishments. And they've done, I mean, Great China Wall has done, you know, kind of blockbuster collabs with like Supreme. So I'm not quite sure what these go for. Again, these are true vintage. I wanna say that these are probably uh, 2004, 2005. Um, you know, maybe 50 or 60 bucks on these. And they are in fantastic shape. There's like a little bit of wear and uh, people out there who grew up in the 90s and early 2000s, you know exactly what that is. We all had it. <laughs> but other than that, the jeans are in fantastic condition. So very excited about that piece. Next up here, we all know this feel. This is uh, the beautiful Barefoot Dreams Cozy Chic fabric and this is brand new with tags size large half zip top and i this is you know this was probably a hundred 
20 bucks new. So, you know, maybe 45, 50 bucks on this. And again, right now is the time for stuff like this. Next up, I found this really pretty, like brown floral boho dress. It's from Billabong. I often, I don't often pick up surf brands. You know, I'm in Southern California, so I see a ton of them at the, at, at the bins, at the thrift. Um, you know, and it's, they're not always made really well, but every once in a while you get these kind of really nice pieces. And this is one of them. It's this beautiful brown floral kind of peasant dress. This is cottage core all the way out. It's about midi length. It's made of this ultra lightweight cotton. It's fully lined. It's a beautiful condition. It's a size large. Uh, I don't think that this will sit for all that long. This is just kind of an unusual piece for Bill Bong. I, you know, maybe 35 bucks on this. Um, I just think it's so pretty. And size large is always great to find in the surf brands because so often you find them and it's like extra small, extra, extra small. And I found this right next to it. And I don't know if it came from the same closet. The size is different, but it's this absolutely adorable Betsy Johnson cotton dress in the same vein. It's very like cottage, boho, but like, can you see this fabric? I don't know what this reminds me of, but it's kind of, it's kind of rainbow speckled, but it's this beautiful shadow striped cotton. And it's got this, I mean, like little beautiful kind of pin tuck details. We see it goes all the way down on all the tiers of the dress. Um, this is just beautifully made. You know, Betsy Johnson, I don't pick up all that often, um, but this was just such an unusual piece. And look at that detail at the neck. Look at that pretty scallop. Um, it's a size small and it is in perfect condition. I would be surprised, like just feeling this tag, I would be surprised if this was ever worn or ever washed. Um, it's, it's in that good of condition. It, this was, I don't know, probably 150 to 200 new, um, you know, maybe 35 or 40 bucks on the resale market. It's, you know, it's very cottage with a little splash of like Betsy. And I adore Betsy Johnson. Next up here, I've got a little bit of a bread and butter piece. And guys, I apologize for the fan. It is still the surface of the sun here in, in Southern California. Please send all of your cool weather my way or just describe to me how nice and cool it is <laughs> where you are i am from the northeast i miss my fall um but anyway this this nice chunky black kind of v-neck sweater from free people it's a size large which is always a good size you know it's a basic it's a free people basic it's in great shape um but basics don't go for what they used to go for i still get them because they are you know they they will move they are free people and they are really well made, so it's always, you know, a safe bet. But probably 25 or 30 bucks on this. Very cool little sweater. Everybody loves a nubby, everybody loves a nubby black sweater. Next up here, guys, this is the thing that I have never found before in my life. And when I was poking through the bins, I saw like this little piece sticking up, and I'm like, what in the world? And I pulled it out, and it's this incredible corset. Um, and I wish, I wish you could get your hands on this so you could feel the quality here. It sits kind of like this and it's, it's got like an attached collar. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. So it's really like, this is, if you look at this, this is an underbust corset, right? So this doesn't go over. It sits underneath and kind of lifts. Um, but look at the quality on this. I mean, like this is, this is hardcore grommeting. And it's made by this company called Damsel in This Dress. So I'm not sure if this was used for like cosplay or if it was used as a theatrical costume, but the quality on this is unbelievable. It looks very like pirate, sea captain, maybe a little bit of a wench. Like look at the interior, everything is hand stitched, hand done. Um, and it's got boning. So the, the back boning is flexible boning, like you're kind of used to seeing in, you know, a higher end prom dress or whatever. But the front is like completely rigid. These pieces are rock hard. So they're not bending. You are, you are, you're not going to sit comfortably in this, but you could look fabulous. So this was kind of tied up like so, and it had um, this 
this was kind of tied around it, which I'm assuming is the ribbons to lace up the corset. And it also had this with it, which is like, I'm assuming a little chemise that goes underneath. Um, so I looked up the company and looks like they sell about 150 to 200 new. And on the secondhand market, some are going for like 200 plus, some are going for 70. So I'm going to assume 60 or 70 bucks on this, but I'm going to get this listed ASAP because like right in time for Halloween, um, this quality is just unbelievable. Oh, and it's corduroy. The rest of the fabric is like a heavy, like a heavy duty, fine whale corduroy. I don't know if that's showing up on the camera either way. Um, <laughs> but um, there it was in the bins for $1. I, I can't believe it. Uh, so next up, we've got this brand new with tags, made well chambray shirt. Um, there's more than my typical brand new with tags. I almost never find brand new with tags in my bins. Um, but this is, it's, I think it's called like the classic boyfriend shirt. Super simple, classic shape. Um, again, brand new with tags. You know, I'm sure this was probably 70, 80 bucks when it was brand new. I'll probably get 30, 35 for it. But, um, you know, always a great find to find something, um, something like this in the thrift. And it did come from one of the Goodwill stores on occasion. Um, for the most part, our, our bins location will get stuff that didn't sell in the stores. But you'll also get on occasion raw donations, as in somebody donates directly to the outlet center and they just put stuff directly in the bins. Anytime I see something like this, I'm like, how did this not get bought? A, a classic, brand new with tags, made well shirt. It's wild. So the next dress I picked up is from a brand I've never heard before. The brand is called Kaylee. And if you guys know anything about Kaylee, put it in the comments below. Um, it's made in the U.S. I picked it up because the fabric feels amazing. It's modal cotton, and it's a cute little faux wrap silhouette. It's a size medium with kind of like elbow length sleeves, I guess they're a little bit long. Oh my God, this fabric is so soft and it doesn't look like it's ever been worn. Um, there's no tags on it, but it, it truly like feels brand new, but it's, you know, it's knee length, it's faux wrap. It's this really pretty like mauve color, I, you know, maybe 30, 35 bucks on this, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more. Um, again, if you know anything about this brand, put it in the comments below and let a girl know, but I just, I just want to cover my entire life with that fabric. It is so soft. Next up, I grabbed this pair of pants from Joseph Ribkoff. I found a couple things by him over the years, and they have always sold really well. Quality is very, very nice. I think this is a this is a pretty expensive brand um, to, to buy in stores, and I think it's a more mature brand. This is just like a little stretchy pair of, um, they're like straight leg, trousers but they feel like they would be kind of heavier weight leggings uh something where you can feel super comfy and look pulled together this is a size four and again quality on on everything i've ever picked up by him is top notch um definitely something to keep your eye out for I, you know the things that i've sold before are more like dresses more like special pieces this is more of like a closet staple so not quite sure what i'll get for this maybe 35 or 40 bucks on it. Again, I do think this is a pretty expensive brand to grab, um, to grab, you know, in stores. So definitely a good find there. Next up, I picked up this cute little top from Brandy Melville. Brandy Melville never sells for a ton, but it does tend to sell pretty quickly. It's this cute little like railroad stripe off the shoulder. I, I think their whole shtick is that um, all of their clothing is one size fits all, which I don't love. <laughs> I don't love that model because there are certainly people that live outside of that range. Um, in, in my experience, and that's many, many years, one size fits all tends to fit between small and extra large, maybe. Probably more like a large, not necessarily an extra large. And that just doesn't make people feel great. So, but anyway, this cute little shirt, it's 100% cotton. It's like a little railroad stripe, little seersucker. Um, you know, I'll probably get 15 bucks on this and it'll probably sell pretty quickly as, as Brandy tends to. Next up, I got a little closet staple. Uh, this is like a little We The Free 
uh, cropped long sleeve pocket tee. Uh, this is an extra small. It, this is a pretty oversized, generous cut for an extra small. Um, but definitely, you know, it's We The Free, so it'll go quickly. You know, maybe 15, 20 bucks on this. I think that these were like 45 to $48 new. And it's in great shape. I don't, you know, maybe worn once or twice. So definitely a pretty good find there. Next up, I've got a little J. Crew piece. I, I don't pick up J. Crew all that often, um, but I do pick up J. Crew linen. And this is a cute little like shift dress in a nice mustard yellow. It's a size large, um, has a very like login look kind of feel to it. Obviously, it needs a minute with my steamer. It's pretty wrinkled, um, but it's got pockets. It's a nice straight kind of breezy silhouette. It's got these cute little buttons in the back. Um, and it's in perfect condition. Like I, I, you know, again, maybe worn once or twice, but, um, this will, this will clean up beautifully with a quick date with my steamer. So very excited about that guy, you know, maybe 25, 30 bucks on that, um, because it is linen and it's a very like fall color. I, this could be an easily layerable piece. <clears throat> Next up girls of the two thousands, uh, you will, you will refer to this as the jacket. It's not the jacket from Abercrombie, but it looks just like it desperately needs an iron or a steam. But this is from Hinge, which is a Nordstrom brand. It's 100% cotton, little like field jacket. So it's got cute little cargo pockets up top and down below. It's got a drawstring waist. Uh, you know, maybe 30, 40 bucks on this. Hinge doesn't go for a ton, but it does tend to move pretty quickly for me. And despite the fact that this just desperately needs to be smoothed out. It looks in fantastic condition. Like it doesn't look like it's had much wear whatsoever. So, you know, again, 30, 35 bucks on that. Next up here, and this is a Bolo brand for you. This is called Dylan. If you've never seen Dylan before, I, I know Dylan because it was sold at a shop back in Utah that I used to frequent and everything was really beautiful and like nice lightweight cottons and really well made, but their prices were crazy expensive. Like this shirt was probably close to a hundred bucks, but this is like a nice cotton textured stripe. If you can see that right there, it's a size medium, which is a good size. It's got a drop hem. This is one of those things that will just like wear really nicely, wash really nicely. It's definitely a staple piece. Um, you know, maybe 25, 30 bucks. But if you find anything by Dylan, especially a more substantial piece, grab it. If it's in great shape, grab it. Because there are people that are devoted to this brand and they pay up for it. Next up, and I don't ever pull a ton of Zara Um I see a lot of it in the bins, but I saw this and I grabbed it. It's a very substantial piece. It's this little cocoon sweater. Let's see, like there is no way for me to show it. Do you see that? It's really nicely made. It's I think a cotton wool blend. It's got pockets. It's got a hood. Um, this is definitely something that will look better. For, I'll, if I have this up before the video goes live, I'll link it down below so you can see it a little bit better um, because it is just a very tough to like show sweater, but it's nice and cozy. It's a fantastic condition. It's definitely a substantial piece. Maybe this, you know, maybe 30, $35 on this. Um, it's really the only kind of Zara I like to pick up. And again, this is, this is made very nicely. Next up here, here's a little bread and butter piece. This is a pure Jill, uh, sleeveless sweater with a little mock neck. It's a size XL, which is always, you know, with, with anything J. Jill, um, the bigger the size, the better. It, it just moves a lot quicker. So this cute little like sleeveless sweater, um, it's like a gray space dye with a little mock neck, you know, maybe 15, $20 on this. Next up, I've got another Madewell piece and it's this super cute little denim chambray wrap dress. It's a size, I think it's a size medium. Yeah, size medium, in great shape. It's got these cute little like ruched sleeves, but they're like a little bit longer than short sleeves. So they'll give you a little bit of coverage here. Um, you know, it's a shorter length. It is a full wrap dress, um, but again, in great condition. So probably 25 bucks on this somewhere around there. So next up, I've got a nice little Athleta workout top. 
uh, again, in perfect condition. I think this is a couple years old, maybe like 2020. Um, it's got a back with a little bit of a grip on it. And you see, it's kind of like an integrated sports bra with, and it hangs a little bit in the back. You know, maybe 50, the tops don't go crazy expensive for me. Um, you know, maybe 15 or 20 bucks on this. Uh, it is a size small, again, in fantastic condition and nice, like ventilated. I don't know if you can kind of see that, but a nice ventilated mesh uh, body to it. And while we're on Athleta, I found this, which, you know, when I saw this tag, I was like, Athleta, really? Uh, but this is a silk cotton little tunic. Um, and it's, I guess it's a swim cover up, but it is just like the fabric is beautiful. Look at that print. It's got a little slit in the back of the sleeves. Uh, this is a size large, I believe. You know, maybe 25, 30 bucks on this. It is a you know, silk cotton. It's beautiful. Um, I don't know if I've ever seen one of these in, in Athleta. So you learn something new every day. Next up, um, <laughs> again, another piece that needs a hot date with my steamer. But this beautiful little silk blouse from Faye, this is an anthro brand, that's the tag there. This is a size small, or a size six rather, and it's 100% silk, little cap sleeve. Um, it's just beautiful. It's like kind of like a trapeze top, so it's just nice and wide and breezy. Um, but you know, maybe probably 25 bucks on this uh, because of the fabric content. It is just beautiful. Next up here, I found these gorgeous little white eyelet shorts from Vineyard Vines. There's the little whale that you see. Uh, super beautiful, in great condition. Look like they might have been worn once. Um, absolutely adorable. You know, probably 20, 25 bucks on these. They are a size small. Um, Vineyard Vines tends to cut a little generously, so that's always great. And they have this cute little, like, little pick up on the side here. I just think these are so stinking cute and very vineyard finds. Like that is very much their style. So here I've got two little boho tops from Lucky brand. Uh, this little green, this is kind of like a textured t-shirt material, like a textured um, jersey. It's a size small, super cute. It has this nice little like crochet back detail. I found that these kind of tops from Lucky Brand move pretty quickly for me. Uh, again, not lighting the world on fire in terms of sales price, but they do move pretty quickly. And this is a full button down, so that's super adorable. And then this one was found right with it, and it is a size large. Um, but it is, this is a, like a cotton, this is more of like a cotton gauze fabric versus the jersey. I love this cute little embroidery pattern on it. I love these colors. They feel very right now. The sleeves have a little rim of that, a little Henley top, and it's a little bit longer in the back. You know, probably 15, 20 bucks on both of these. Super, super adorable. So next up, I grabbed this sweater because the actual sweater felt really nice. I'd never heard of the brand before. It's called Wooden Ships. And it looks like this is a designer that does a lot of, you know, kind of chunky sweaters. Um, and a lot of sweaters that are kind of holiday themed, but like in a tasteful way. Uh, so if you are in the market for like a fall sweater or a Halloween sweater, um, check out check out their brand. It's, it's really cute stuff. Uh, but look at how these little hearts are on. They look like they're hand painted onto the sweater. They're not like knit in. It's a size, I believe, extra small. Yeah, it's an extra small but it is this like pretty petal pink with these um, little red hearts on them. I, you know, they sell new for like 140 bucks. They're, it's not a cheap brand. Um, and I've seen some of them, like when I checked comps, depending on which one, and I'm sure I'm going to have to do a little bit more research into like certain models that are more sought after, but you know, some of them were reselling in the 200s and some of them were reselling in the 30 to 40 range. And I'm, you know, I'm always going to anticipate on the low end. So probably 30 to 40 bucks on this. Next up here, guys, this is, this is a Bolo brand. You probably already know about it, but if you don't be on alert, that is Smart Wool. Smart Wool is like an outdoors brand. They do a lot of socks. They do a lot of base layers. And this in particular is one of their merino wool 
base layers and it's the basic black. I mean, these base layers go for like a, over a hundred dollars new. This will probably sell for 35, 40 bucks. It's a size large. It's in great shape. And, um, you know, something that like, obviously if you are looking to resell, this is a brand for sure. Just be on the lookout for it. Um, but if you are also looking to invest in a good set of base layers for yourself, um, Smartwell, they're the best. And these, they're so thin. I mean, you can see like right through that, but I cannot tell you how warm these are, you know, for the weight of the fabric. They're incredibly warm. And this is in fantastic shape. There's like a little pick on the front of it, but that's no big deal because Merino wool just gets picks on it. So um, again, probably 30 to 40 bucks on that. Super pumped to find that, especially in the bins. Good one to keep your eye out for. This is a Club Monaco sweater. Club Monaco is a super, it is a mall brand, but it is a super expensive mall brand. Um, it's this beautiful long line sweater. This is, I think, 100% merino wool. It appears to be unworn. This looks brand new. It's got this beautiful little like raw edge trim on it. Can you see that? It's like two or three extra layers inside. This feels like silk. And then this is merino, rib sleeves. Uh, long line with like little pockets there. This is a size small. You know, this is probably a two or three hundred dollar sweater, brand new. I'll probably get maybe forty bucks for it. Uh, but always a great find in the bins. And again, this feels like it's never been worn. I love these chunky buttons. Like, look at the thickness of that. You see that? Oh, what a find! Oh my god, I've got some. I've got some really cool things coming up here, guys. This, this was a wild, wild trip to the bins. Um, but next up, this is a little free people dress. It's 100% cotton. Um, I just think this is so cute. So it's got like a tank top, but if you, can you see the back? It kind of blends in against the back fabric. So it's got these lace panels that do a little peekaboo in the back. I just think this is so cute. Um, it's a size is a size large oh, lies lies size extra small um again generously fit as as um free people tends to be cute little cotton fully lined you know, probably 20 25 30 bucks on that and another free people dress super cute this one is like a black gauze it, this one's a size large this is what i was thinking of but it's this pretty like midi length black embroidered, you know, just midi length dress. It's got these kind of longer sleeves on. It does, it looks like the, it looks like the hook and eye is pulled from the top one, but that is something I can easily reattach, easy peasy, or, you know, it looks fine, just open as it is. But super cute one. I, you know, this is, pro this is a little bit more substantial, maybe 35 bucks on this. Um, and I don't think that this will last very long. This, this feels very of the season. I just think this is so cute. Also, this just might stay with me. <laughs> uh, so if it's not up on my closet, um, you know where it is. Next up, I've got another free people piece, and this is going to be a hard one to kind of show, but it's long sleeve. It's, it's this super breezy blouse. But so the neck gathers all the way around and it's got these kind of like raglan sleeves, very like witchy, boho. It's in perfect condition. Just a beautiful piece, fully gathered, you know, probably 25, 30 bucks on this. I can never say no to free people silk. I really can't. I really can't. Got a little torrid piece. This feels like it's never been worn before. It's a size three, this cute little like I can't tell if this is dark gray or like a dusty purple. I think it's more of like a dusty purple, but this cute little crossover sweater. This is the perfect time to find something like this. I've got a lot of other Torrid in this size, which I find I find typically when I sell Torrid, I sell Torrid in bundles. So I always love finding things kind of in similar sizes, but I just think this is so cute. It's a little bit more of a substantial piece, this cotton blend. Um, I want to say 30, 35 bucks on this, maybe a little bit more. Uh, again, this feels like it's in fantastic, almost unworn condition. Well, there's a, a teensy bit of wear, but like not a lot. That looks like one one wear's worth of wear. Um, very cool piece. So next up, I've got, okay, how do I explain this? This was the shirt of my dreams in 2001. 
So this is made by Tracy Reese. And a lot of people know Tracy Reese because she had a diffusion line called Plenty by Tracy Reese. And you always saw it in magazines. But this is the real deal designer couture line. I don't want to call it couture. It's not couture, but I guess couture. Look at this incredible shirt. This gives like a whole new meaning to the term going out shirt. It's, so it's 100% silk. It's beaded. So it's heavy. Like if you could feel this, I mean, you can see the way that the beads are like pulling down on the straps. So it has little spaghetti straps. And then that kind of sits on the outside of the arm like that. And the ruffle goes all the way around the back. Look at this beading. Isn't that incredible? And the beading's in perfect condition. Like there's no rips, no tears, no snags, no missing beads. I mean, when I, this was probably a $1,200 shirt back in the day. And um, I'm going to hold this here so you can get a little bit more of the shape of this. But, you know, it'll kind of sit like that. This will hit, the bottom will hit like mid hip. Look at the bottom. Look at that beadwork. Is that incredible? This is 100% vintage. This is absolutely positively from like 2001. Um, I have absolutely no clue what this will go for on the resale market. You know, maybe 100, 150 bucks with Y2K styles coming back in. I literally, uh, this is going to break all of your hearts. I went on, I think it was Target for something or another, maybe Old Navy. And they literally had a category called jeans and a going out top. What's happening? What is happening? That's what we called it. So this is like the ultimate going out top. Um, I, I will, this is another one I will hold. So, you know, until I can do a ship with me for it, because I want to report back on what I end up getting for this. It just so gorgeous. Um, next up here, I've got, this is another great brand to find in the bins and in perfect condition. This is for love and Liberty, which is a Johnny was brand. Uh, and it's this stunning crochet lace, like blouse or cardigan. Um, it's got this like contrasting piece of light blue lace on top of it. And look at these buttons. Every button is different. Like I always think about, so my mom was, you know, I, I grew up, my mom sewed. She was a, you know, she was, I don't want to call her a seamstress, but you know, she was taught how to sew. And she always had this tin of buttons. And I feel like everybody's mom had a tin of buttons. Some of you probably still have tins of buttons. And I had favorites in there, you know, like the little crystal buttons or the whatever. And I would dig through them. I loved kind of like getting my hands in them. And this sweater just reminds me of that because each button is different and special. And it, again, in perfect condition, I'll probably get 50 to $75 for this. Um, you know, J Johnny was anything is, is very expensive. And I just think that that is absolutely stunning, stunning. And finally, this is our last piece here. Another unbelievable vintage couture find. This is by Philosophy di Alberta Ferretti. You might know Alberta Ferretti, you know, just because she's still a very big name designer. Uh, but she got really popular around the time of Sex in the City, because I think that a lot of the clothes that they, like, they wore a lot of Alberta Freddy. This is the tag. And I love, you know, you have all of, the, this is usually, like, when you see a tag like this, you can almost guarantee that it's a high-end designer. Um, every single high-end designer I've found has a similar tag to that. It's got, um, what is that? Italy, France, I'm assuming that's Germany, Great Britain, and USA. <clears throat> but then you have this tag, this is a, this is like a holding company. This is the same company that owns Machino. Um, that was on the lips cardigan that I found a few weeks ago. I'll link that video down below. Um, but yeah, so it's got all these and then it's got this kind of tag on the bottom and then a made in Italy. Uh, the construction on this is unbelievable. Look at this adorable dress. So this is a hundred percent silk. Of course, it's like a silk taffeta. It's got this cute little like cap sleeve. I love this neckline. Look at that. And it's, it's real piping like this, this is plush. Like you can tell that this is all hand done and it's got a cute little skirt, a little pleated skirt. It's short. It's probably mid thigh length. Look at the closure on the back. There's no zip that goes all the way up. These are just snaps and they're all there. I just haven't snapped them all. I wanted to be able to show you that, but look at the construction here like unbelievable. 
you know, and again, 100% silk and this beautiful like peacock blue fabric. Guys, I can't believe I found this in the bins. You know, again, probably a two or $2,000, $3,000 dress when it was brand new, uh, easily bought at like a Neiman Marcus, if not at her atelier. I have no idea what I'm going to get for this on the resale market. No clue whatsoever. Maybe a hundred or 200 bucks. Um, I'll report back. It's, it's just a very cool, cool, cool dress. But that is the haul for this week, guys. Um, for the numbers nerds out there, I'm looking at an MSRP here of somewhere between six and eight thousand dollars. And it's kind of that big of a spread because I have no idea what this initially cost. It could easily cost twice what I initially anticipate. Um, I'm anticipating uh, sales of about 1000 to 1500 on all these pieces with a profit of somewhere between 800 and 1000 um, But I spent $39. All of this, $39. Uh, that gives me an ROI of approximately, kind of at the low end, approximately 25.64x. And guys, that is the best I have ever had in my life. I cannot, like, I can't get over it. But I cannot explain to you how much I appreciate you hanging with me as I do my, as I do my hauls, as I do, you know, my ship with me's, sharing your treasures with me. Like, I started this channel because I am such a nerd about treasure hunting in the thrift stores. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I love going and finding bread and butter pieces, stuff that I know is going to move quickly. But days like this, are days that remind me of why I do what I do. And I, you know, I would show this to my husband or my best friend or my other friends and they just glaze over. They just don't care. It's not their world. So I really appreciate having, you know, the ability to build this community of fellow thrifters who nerd out about these treasures. So if you had fun, don't forget to give this video a like. It really helps me in the algorithm. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. Like I'm so excited to have you along on this ride. If you have any treasures like this, you know, tell me about them below. I just, I, I never get tired of hearing about these incredible things that you're finding. And I love, you know, learning what you're finding in the Southeast or what you're finding in the Northeast or what you're finding in your, you know, particular neck of this corner of this world. But that is it for today, guys. Have an incredible week. Happy hunting. And I will see you in the next one.